How's it going guys? My name is Ted and bringing you guys a demolition gameplay today and <laughs> I wish I could tell you the name of the map. I, I still don't know the names of the maps. It's getting kind of bad now. Um, it's always the last thing I know is the names of the maps. I can tell you the guns, I can tell you the kill streaks. I can tell you, you know, the objective mode, whatever, but I can't tell you the names of the maps until like three months into the game. It's just the way my brain works. Um, but I was playing some demolition earlier and I had a great game. It was 63 to 6, but it wasn't really the score so much as it was just how well the game played. Um, I felt like there was a lot of times where I was just like beasting around. And um, it's official, guys. I said it a couple commentaries ago. I didn't know whether the MSMC was good or not, and it's official now. The MSMC is fantastic. I don't know if everyone else knows that already, but I'm loving this gun. Um, in fact, I might be loving it too much. I think I've posted like three games in a row now with the MSMC, so there's no more MSMC for a little while. I'm going to trade up the guns a little bit. And I'm still working on this gun guide, actually. Um, a bunch of guys, whenever I posted, you know, should I do the gun guide, should I not, uh, the series I want to start doing, um, everyone says, yeah, do it. And um, I'm trying to do something where it sets it apart for everybody else. I want to do a, a series that's not just uh, your typical, you know, oh, this gun's cool, blah, blah, blah. Um, I want to make it really good. I want to have a great gameplay for the gun, not just, you know, some random gameplay where I just pick up the gun and use it for one gameplay. I want to get a feel for all the different guns and, and give you guys a, a really good understanding of each gun. So uh, that series is to come in the future. Um, probably right after Christmas break is when I'm going to get on that one because even though it's Christmas break, um, I don't have much free time. And the story of my life, man, like no matter how hard I try to have a lot of free time and no matter how hard I think, you know, like, oh, I'll just, you know, set, a, set aside these couple of days to just work on YouTube and play some Xbox, I just don't have any free time. Um, this last week, uh, last week was all finals and it was a hell of a week. I mean, it was absolutely horrible. I know some of y'all out there are in high school, um, some of y'all have been in college, so you can under understand how hard it is to go through finals week. But if you're in high school, the finals week of high school is nothing compared to the final week of, of college. Because um, finals in college are a huge majority of your grade. And in college, you know, you're, you're kind of paying for the school as opposed to public schools. It's free. Um, so you gotta, you really got to try hard to do well. And uh, I was just, I was like a little hobbit. I was just like, or hermit, I guess is the better term for it. I was like sitting in my room for like 10 hours a day just studying the textbook. In fact, I ended up just like reading three textbooks. And I don't think I've ever had a more boring week than the week of when I was studying for my final exams. It was absolutely horrible. If you haven't gone to college yet, it's not one of the highlights, let me tell you. Um, but college is fun. I'm glad I'm on break, though. You know, I don't have as, I don't have as many friends yet in college as I do at, back at home in Charleston. Um, and I'm loving it. I'm loving getting back to Charleston right now. And just chill with my friends. You know, it, it's so great to just have that feeling of, you know, being desired. Like, uh, in college, I don't have very many friends. No one's like, we really wants to hang out all the time. I get up here to Charleston, and it's just like, I can't answer all the text messages, I can't answer all the phone calls, I can't reply to all the emails. It's like, everyone wants to just chill and hang, because everyone's off for Christmas break, and, uh, and I just don't have enough time for all my friends. It's, it, it's a blast. Like, I just, I have non-stop fun time, and uh, you can probably tell that on my channel, too, because for the last, like, three days, I haven't posted at all. And that's my bad. I'm going to actually post some, uh, some scheduled uploads, that way I can get back to a, a regular schedule. Um, that's one of the things I really like to do is just post on a consistent basis. I want to keep make sure I keep putting out consistent content. That's always good stuff. Um, probably do a couple more commentaries today. I've actually got like one hour just right now to do commentaries because my family's out and about and uh, I'm just here alone. Um, and my friends want to come over, but it's like, nah, give me a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a commentary. <laughs> Gotta put YouTube first sometimes. And uh, and I also love the community. You know, I love my subscribers. I've got a really good subscriber base, get base y'all, and uh, y'all are awesome. Like. Every video I post up, I get some good feedback. There's like two guys that always like say hello, like or like ask me how I'm doing, and like I can't just have a conversation in the comment section. Like send me a message or something, but don't just comment. Uh, well, commenting's good too, though actually. And then all the people that say like first, second, third, I find that funny because like my videos don't get very many views, and like honestly, if you view it in the first 20 minutes, you're probably gonna have the first comment if you throw it down there. So that's just something to think about. As far as this gameplay goes, I was really running around in the spawn. I was actually having a lot of fun. Um, I was playing this mosh pit play. Sort of, I, it's like the only thing I've been playing recently, um, at all really, is this mosh pit playlist. And this is back before Double XP Weekend, so this is a little old of a gameplay. But the mosh pit's such a great playlist because it's just like the funnest maps, like the best 10 maps, the smallest 10 maps. And it's all the game types except for Search and Destroy and Team Deathmatch. Or I'm sorry, Team Deathmatch isn't in there. It's all of them except for Search and Destroy. And I don't really like Search and Destroy. I think that, uh, Search and Destroy is kind of like the odd man out if you look at all the all the game modes. Because in all the other game modes you can respawn, there's there's not much of a penalty for dying. 
Whereas in Search and Destroy, it's it's like that odd duck where it's, you know, your point things are a lot different. Um, if you die, you don't get a respawn. And I'm kind of glad they took that out of the mosh pit because I feel like if people want to play Search and Destroy, they're going to be in the Search and Destroy playlist, not just in a mosh pit wanting to play it. That's my thoughts on that. Um, as far as the rest of this game goes, I just rush around the entire time. A big tip I can give, I, I'm trying to stick toward tips and, and tricks inside of my gameplays. I've been straying away from that. I'm going to stick to it. Um, you'll see here, we've got a bunch of guys on this bomb, and uh, if the other team tries to come and get the bomb, we're going to take them out. But because of that, you really want to push forward. You know, if you've got a good foundation at the bomb, like i got three teammates back there, you want to keep pushing forward, um, especially in Demolition. Because in Demolition, it's really hard to flip the spawns. In fact, I don't even think one person can do it alone. I think that it takes a few people. And uh, also, you have to learn the spawns here. So like, or I'm sorry, learn the other team very well. So see here in this gameplay, there's like these snipers that always go to that tower up there. And uh, I'm, I'm tapping my screen to show you, but I, uh, clearly you can't see my fingers. Um, but there's like a little tower, and all the snipers go up there in this gameplay, and they both put down, and they, and they those two of them actually, and they both put down bouncing Bettys on either side of the stairwell. And every single time I went up there, there was always a sniper up there, and they always had a bouncing buddy down. It's very, there's the bouncing buddy. See, I, it goes off. I try to shoot it, and then there's going to be a sniper up here, or two of them actually. Um, I guess the other one wasn't there. But anyways, you get what I'm saying, you know, learn the other team. There's the other sniper right there. He was going to join his buddy up there. Learn the other team. You know, I learned very quickly these guys were always camping up here because they're snipers. They didn't change very much. And if you learn the other team, you can get a bunch of quick kills. And you can know where to expect people. You don't get taken off guard as much. One of the tips I can give. Anyways, now that's almost Christmas break, guys, I want to hear y'all's thoughts. Are y'all going on a Christmas vacation? Um, I'll give y'all the spiel for me really quick, because this is a longer commentary. I can get into some details here. Um, I got a ball and break ahead of me, and I'm, I'm not trying to brag, but I'm just I'm just really excited. And there, there's certain things that, you know when you get really excited about something, you just want to talk about it a lot? This is like one of those moments. Um, I'm going on a cruise ship with one of my buddies, Jake, and my family, of course, and my parents are going to bring us. And uh, my buddy Jake is one of my best friends of, of all time. He's Well, he is my best friend of all time. Um, super chill, great guy, and he's gonna be a blast to go on a cruise ship with. Like I'm, I'm just stoked. We're both just like, this is gonna be insane, you know? Like, it's gonna be awesome. And uh, and then I've got a, I'm flying down to Missouri the day after Christmas on the 26th to see my grandparents up there. They got a farm up in Missouri. And I'm gonna go. Uh, we're gonna hang out with them and the rest of the family. Um, I got my aunts and my uncles coming down as well. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I haven't seen my grandparents or my aunts, uncles, cousins. I haven't seen them in forever, and uh, it, like it's literally been probably four or five years since the last time I seen them. And I'm gonna go up and actually see them. And what I really like is that my uncle actually works for uh, for Motorola. And if you already know about me, I love cell phones. And he worked in the handset department of Motorola, which is awesome, you know, because that's exactly what I'm into. Um, so I'm probably gonna have some great conversation with him about cell phones. You ever know how you have like these certain people you can talk to about the same type of thing? And there's always like something that you're interested in, but you can't tell many people about it because no one really gives a shit. Like Call of Duty, for example. Um, there's like a select few people out there that can actually really talk about Call of Duty in a, in a sensible means and have it interesting to have a conversation with. Um, this is like the same type of thing only for cell phones with my uncle because he actually works for Motorola. And, you know, I live and breathe cell phones. I know a lot about them. However, I've never produced them. I, uh, I know a lot about the cell phones. And it's going to be great to sit down and have a conversation with him for a long time. It's one of the things that I love is having great conversations. And uh, unfortunately, my grandma's going through like Alzheimer's. And the last time we were there, uh, it was like just beginning. And I was I was sleeping on the sofa and she'd come in every day and she'd, she'd wake up at like five o'clock in the morning because she lives on a farm and that's kind of what they did back then. And then she'd, she'd come into the living room every day and she'd be like, who are you? And I'm like, grandma, I'm, I'm your grandson. And then she wouldn't just come in once, she'd come in like three times and every time she'd forget who I was again. And she'd be like, oh, okay, well, go back to sleep. I didn't mean to wake you. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. But uh, it's really creepy. Like, can you just imagine having a kind of a lifestyle where you don't even know, like, who your grandkids is? Like, it's it's a really scary thing. And um, and it happens to a lot of old people. Um, it's kind of making me scared of getting old. By the way, notice the Bettys. Notice the snipers. I mean, it, it's such a trend here. Like, this is such a really big thing. Um, now, the bombs have changed now because it's overtime. There's only one bomb now. But it's really important to notice how the enemy teams are. And the other thing is, let's go say you're the opposite side. Let's say you're the guy that's the sniper, and you just keep getting killed by some guy with an MSMC that's just running past your bouncing buddies. Change up your strategy a little bit, guys. Um, I'm expecting these guys to be stupid. And because they are stupid and they're not changing up their mentality at all, they're not changing up their game style, um, I can take them out over and over and over again. However many times they want to go there, I'm going to keep killing them because I'm expecting their bouncing buddies. They're not deterring me at all. They're not killing me at all. And, uh, and I've got an SMG in close quarters, and they've got a sniper rifle. So 
Things like that, just keep in mind, notice, uh, learn how the other team's playing. That's one big tip I can give. I guess it's the tip of the commentary. Let me know down below, what are your Christmas plans? I'm interested to hear what everyone's doing for Christmas break. Have a great holiday, guys. I'll be giving you some more commentaries in the future. I'm going to schedule upload. If you missed the last video I posted, be sure to click the link on the left where I'll give, bring you guys some of my last commentary of 56 kill to 1 death gameplay on Nuketown. And on the right, guys, it's a playlist of all my upgraded guns instead of Black Ops 2 Zombies. It's a series I'm doing, and uh, it's a lot of fun. So go watch it, guys. Catch you all later. Bye.